I'm sorry, but I've uh, not been able to work on this horse piece for several days because I've been busy with other things. And tomorrow is going to be almost impossible because tomorrow afternoon, uh, the gallery that I'm showing here in town, in town here, is opening or having its grand opening tomorrow. And I've got to be there all afternoon and part of the evening. So, what I'm doing is I bought this mannequin years ago, and it's a horse that was uh, created by an artist friend of mine, uh, Jeff Wolf, and it's a uh, wonderful maquette to... Uh, you know, it shows the muscles on one side and uh, the uh, bone structure of the uh, horse on the other side. I don't remember where you buy it. I uh, used to be able to buy it directly from Jeff Wolf, but he uh, uh, has uh, some, I, I think, Western Art Rodeo. Uh, you might check that out. These are not cheap, but anything good is not going to be cheap and uh, I've been wanting to make this so that I can turn it without knocking things over and uh, having it fall over and uh, I've come up with an idea to uh, do this with I'm going to uh, balance the horse right there on this piece of wood and uh, I'll show you what I'm thinking and it's going to involve uh, putting this uh, little lazy Susan on here I just got to figure out how to do it now let's do this I got to get sandpaper first all right, I got it on the turntable now, and uh, it's working out beautifully. I'm just going to screw the horse down to the uh, turntable so he won't go tumbling off. This one works beautifully. I can turn it around and look at it from any angle without knocking things over or knocking the horse over. I'm not going to go into great de detail on the muscles. I want this to look different than, well, I say that now. I don't know how I'm going to feel when I get into it. So I'll just reserve what I want it to look like. And uh, at the end of it, I'll say, yeah, this is exactly the way I wanted it. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is go to the hardware store tomorrow and see if I can find some more small uh, Lazy Susans turntables or whatever you want to call them and uh, put it underneath the uh, sculpture I'm working on. I'm going to get a couple more too because I got some other mannequins I like to have mounted properly and and uh, I think that's a good idea to put them on a board with a Lady Susan under them.
Okay, I'm just going to quickly sketch in the, the horses to begin with, and uh, and then we're going to start attaching them to the uh, doohiggy up here. I think what I'll do is take him out of there and put him right there. Alright, I got them all, all my waxes in the, my uh, computer room, which is my bedroom, and uh, I've got on, on the screen uh, videos that I took off of uh, the web, and uh, I'm positioning the legs the way I see them on the screen. Nothing worse than doing a horse moving having the skeletal structure or the uh, movement wrong. This one is extended out to the rear. This leg. I gotta be careful because I don't have these attached with uh, any kind of a uh, tape, so I gotta watch how I move them without breaking them. And this room is not exactly lit properly for this sort of thing, but I'll make it work. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing tonight, is uh, getting all these horses ready for tomorrow, or the next time I'm sculpting. And uh, let's Trimming off the excess. Okay. All right, I got that uh, one ready to go. Change his head position. I may exaggerate the uh, movement to later, but right now I'm just uh, getting everything match the movement on the screen. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.